Welcome back everybody. In our next tutorial, we're going to talk about creating text and extruding or embossing text onto an object. And to do that, we need to create a feature on this. We could just do it on this surface, but since we're trying to make a an object similar to what we would have in real life, we're going to start by creating a sketch on this large face. So once again, top left corner, choose create sketch. And we're going to choose this large face. So when it highlights gray, click on it and kind of zoom in so that you can see this top section here because that's where we're going to be working. Now what I want you to do, we're going to use a different type of rectangle this time. I'm going to go under the Create tab and under Rectangle, you'll notice down here at the bottom it says Center Rectangle. In other words, you choose the center point and then as you move out and up or down and over, it's going to create a rectangle centered around that point. So we choose Center Rectangle. And I want to get it in the center of our block. And to do that, I can use the center point of the circle that's already there. So you're going to notice if I start moving around here, see how it sees that circle? When I come down here, it sees a center point. That's a snap. You're not going to click there. You're just hovering for a second. It picks that up like a magnet. And now I have a dotted line when I drag up. I want you to eyeball it in the middle of this region here. So about there, click one time. And now you'll notice that when I move out, and then move up, I've got a rectangle forming. I don't really care what it is that you put in there, all right? Um, if you want to, you could type in a height of 0.25, all right, that's a common dimension. And maybe we could make this, um, oh, why don't we call this 1.25? Helps if you type in the wrong one, or the right one, excuse me. Hit tab first, and then 1.25. Then we're going to hit return. Now we've got this rectangle. Now for our purposes, we don't need these two construction lines in here. So why don't you delete them? So right click, delete, right click, delete. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add two circles because we actually want this to be sort of an oval shape. So I'm going to choose my circle tool. And I want to pick up the midpoint of this short side. So if I move down, I've got my blue triangle, I click once, and then I'm gonna slide back up until I hit that end point. That makes sure my circle diameter is exactly 0.25, and it says it there, so we're good. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So center point, click, move up. I get my uh, snap right there, click again. And now we've got two circles with a rectangle that's intersecting them. This is a great time for us to learn about trimming. So up here in the Modify tab, I've got a pair of scissors, choose Trim. And in Fusion 360, this works very, very well. It's pretty smart. So I'm going to pick up that circle and that line and this circle and that line. And now I've got what I need. I can hit Escape to get out of that tool. And I'm going to go to my big green check mark and select Finish Sketch. Once you've done that, use your Home button to turn it in isometric. We're going to cut this feature in just a little bit. So we're going to go in here and choose extrude, just like we did with the hole. Choose extrude, select that oval shape, and you could either drag it in or we can cut it in. I want to go in about, let's make our distance 0 0.070. Excuse me, make sure that's a negative because we're cutting and click OK. At this point, you should have a little shallow recess cut into your block. That's where our text is going.